Welcome to Biology at Ease. In this video, I'll be discussing about pentose sugars and the nitrogenous bases present in DNA and RNA. So let's start with pentose sugars. Pentosis refers to the monosaccharides having five carbon atoms. Each nucleic acid, be it DNA or RNA, consists of a pentose sugar which forms the polymeric backbone of that nucleic acid. The pentose sugar present in DNA is known as 2-deoxyribose, whereas the pentose sugar of RNA is ribose. Ribose has a chemical formula of C5H10O5, while the chemical formula of the pentose sugar inside DNA, that is the chemical formula of 2-deoxyribose is C5H10O4. So from these two chemical formulas, you can note that there is an additional oxygen atom present in RNA, whereas the pentose sugar of DNA is lacking that additional oxygen atom. This oxygen atom is present at the second carbon of the pentose ring. Due to the absence of this additional oxygen atom at the second carbon atom of pentose sugar of DNA molecule, the pentose sugar of DNA molecule is named as 2-deoxy, which means that at the second position of the pentose ring of sugar molecule present in DNA, oxygen atom is absent and hence the name 2-deoxyribose where deoxy stands for absence of oxygen. Presence of this additional oxygen atom in ribose sugar leads to the formation of hydroxyl group. And since hydroxyl group is highly susceptible to hydrolysis, that is why RNA is more reactive less stable as well as easily degradable as compared to DNA. So this is all about the pentose sugars. Now let's move to the DNA and RNA bases. Nitrogenous bases or nucleobases refers to the biological compounds containing nitrogen atoms and they form an important part of the nucleic acids. There are five types of nitrogenous bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, uracil and thymine. In DNA, four types of nitrogenous bases are present that are adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine whereas in RNA instead of thymine uracil is present and rest all three bases are same. So RNA consists of four bases adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil whereas DNA consists of adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Now let's have a look on the structures of these five nucleobases. Adenine and guanine have a nine-membered fused ring structure similar to that of a compound called purine in which nitrogen is present at 1, 3, 7 and 9th position. Since the structure of adenine and guanine resembles to that of purines, therefore adenine and guanine are known as purine bases. Similarly, the structure of cytosine, uracil and thymine consist of a six-membered ring structure in which nitrogen is present at first and third position and this structure resembles with that of an organic compound called pyrimidine. And because of this similarity in structures, cytosine, uracil and thymine are known as pyrimidine bases. And when a phosphate group gets attached to a nucleoside, it forms nucleotide which are the building blocks of every nucleic acid. Now let me explain this with the help of a diagram. So this is your pentose sugar to which a nitrogenous base is attached. This structure is known as nucleoside. And when a phosphate group gets attached to a nucleoside, the structure formed is called nucleotide. According to the double helical structure of DNA proposed by James Watson and Francis Crick, DNA consists of two polynucleotide chains having an antipolar polarity. That means if the polarity of one strand is in the order 5 dash to 3 dash, then the polarity of other strand will be 3 dash to 5 dash. Since DNA is a polymer of nucleotides, that means that many nucleotides combine together to form a single strand of DNA or rather a complete DNA molecule. So these are the polynucleotides present in one strand of DNA and in the opposite strand, antipolar polarity will be followed. According to Watson and Crick, these two strands of DNA are attached together through hydrogen bonds and these hydrogen bonds are formed between specific pairs of DNA. Adenine pairs with thymine with double hydrogen bonds whereas guanine pairs with cytosine with triple hydrogen bonds. This is the DNA structure consisting of polynucleotides. Now let's suppose the order of the DNA bases is A, G, T, C. According to the rule, adenine should pair with thymine. Therefore, in this strand, th 
thymine will be present and it will bound to adenine with double hydrogen bonds. Since guanine pairs with cytosine with triple hydrogen bonds, therefore between these two base pairs, triple hydrogen bond will be formed and cytosine will be present in this strand at this place. Here we have thymine, so adenine will come. Here we have cytosine, guanine will come and two hydrogen bonds between A and D and three hydrogen bonds between G and C thus leading to the formation of complete DNA molecule. Now let's quickly revise everything. What are pentose sugars? Pentose sugars are the monosaccharides having five carbon atoms and they are the important part of nucleic acids be it DNA or RNA. What are bases? Nitrogenous bases or nucleobases are the compounds containing nitrogens and when pentose sugars combine with the nitrogenous bases they form nucleoside. Nucleoside when gets attached to phosphate group forms nucleotide. This is the structure of DNA molecule containing the four nucleobases adenine, guanine, thymine and cytosine. According to the DNA double helical structure proposed by Watson and Crick, adenine will pair with thymine using two hydrogen bonds and guanine will pair with cytosine using three hydrogen bonds. So now I hope you are clear with pentose sugars, DNA and RNA bases and the complete structure of DNA molecule. Subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.